All right, here's my trusty VNA. Um, and we don't need a VNA for this. Uh, we don't need any of the phase information, just the amplitude. But um, it's configured for a center frequency of 900 meg with a span of 500 meg. Uh, so if you want to express that in terms of start and stop, it's sweeping from 650 to 1.15 gig. And um, it's been calibrated already, so correction is enabled. And uh, let's turn off averaging just for quick response. So let's see what the insertion loss is of, um, of this isolator component here. Oh, I guess I should prove the calibration is, is good still. There we go. So this is um, one decibel per division and the reference markers here. So you can see it's very flat. So this is a good cal. Okay, so for this little isolator, this is jumping around quite a bit, so let me turn averaging on again just to make it a bit smoother. At uh, the marker frequency of 915, which is right in the middle of the band that we're interested in, of the ham band, the insertion attenuation is 0.51 decibels. So let's just call that 0.5. I'll make a note here on the diagram, minus 0 0.5 dB. And then for the combiner, let's see what that is. So we'll be going into port one, let's say. And for these things, there are three port units, so we always want to terminate all the ports. So this is, um, this is a dummy load. Okay, wow, that is, oh right, I had averaging turned on. Okay, with averaging off, there we go. So the, uh, the loss is 3.3 decibels going from port one, um, port one on here to the source port, just basically going backwards. So let me write uh, minus 3.3 dB. And uh, looks like we'll need then 20, f well, wait, uh, need 18, yes, 17-ish um, dBm to actually get this um, to, the, uh, to the right interference level.